Hello everyone, my name is TurboTony19, how are you doing all there today? And uh, we're continuing on with the XCOM Let's Play. It's been a little while actually since I've actually done this, and I must apologise. Um, literally, over the last week, I, every single day of the last seven days, I've been trying to get time to record more of this, and I just, I just didn't seem to. But, I have forged some time, an hour and a half, for me to record a little bit of this, and get it up on the channel for you there, guys. Um, so, yeah, we might as well get all into it, if you remember what happened in the last episode. Uh, we basically got our firestorms in, and I'm going to transfer a few of them already into other areas. I'm going to transfer this one to uh, Europe, I think. Uh, That'll take three days to complete. Um, and I would put new stuff on the other one, but I le at least want one on just in case we can finally shoot down the overseas ship, so I'll leave that there. Oh, I, I've, no, actually, no, it only takes 24 hours. We'll, um, can we make uh, a plasma cannon mod for it, maybe? Let's give that a go. Um, plasma cannon. Yeah, 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 we can get them. Let's buy two of them. That should be okay. And then we'll um, attach it to there. We should. I don't want to make any chances, so yeah, let's attach it on. If that comes up now, I'm going to not be a happy bunny, so... <laughs> okay, so let's uh, continue forward. Uh, Archangel armor, it's not really a biggie there. I'm not really bothered with Archangel armor. As I said there before, I'm not, I'm not uh, one of these um, people that tends to use the flying mechanisms. I, I, when I used to play uh, Versus on this, the, um, the flying seemed a little bit, like, not off, but... It just, um, I, I, I didn't, couldn't use it that well, and I kept getting my soldiers into awkward places, and I've messed up enough as it comes to this anyway, so. Okay, let's, um, try this guy. Let's try, that's our new big dude. Um, I think we've got enough heavies. Yeah, 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 let's, um, yeah, let's put, no, let's put our sniper in. I don't think we have anyone who's actually hurt, do we? I don't think so. I think everyone's okay. Uh, yeah, we'll put that heavy in then. Um, and hopefully we won't regret that. They're, those are the two guys that we got from the previous missions. So, uh, with any luck, that should be okay. We do have a new satellite coming in. I don't know if we can make any more. But we might as well launch this one where it's the most useful now. Um, well, there's not really anywhere really we can put it. That is that helpful. Uh, let's put it in Australia just to get rid of that. Um... Money isn't really a problem, let's put it in Australia, that's fine. Um, okay, they've given us money anyway. We've got no nothing stationed there, so let's move one of our um, ravens from here with the laser cannon. We'll just transfer the North America one to Asia, that's fine. It's not a bother. Okie dokie. Um, let's continue on. Let's, okay. Right, so we've got ammo conservation project. That's good. Maybe we should go into more of them. Uh, as we've got a lot of money and nothing really to buy with it, uh, we may as well uh, spend a little bit. Um, stealth satellites? No, can't be bothered with that. Um, drone capture, shiv plasma, advanced repair. See, I don't use any of these, really. No, I think I'm going to leave it. I don't think there's anything there that I need. If it was like upgrades to the medikit or anything like that, then I'd be more than happy to. Okay, we've got the Overseer. Um, is this where we've got the... Yes, here we go! Plasma cannon time! This could be the mission we've been waiting for. Unleash hell! You beauty. This is what we've been waiting for, like, the last five missions. Lovely, come on. I'm going to give it all the boosts. I want this thing down. Come on. One, two, three. There you go. Bring that overseer down. Yes, here we go. The mission we've all been waiting for. Ten crew size. Ether ethereals are the uh, overseers. Moves on elite. Sector pods. Drones. Heavy floaters. Send the Sky Ranger. I'm actually really excited now. I didn't think that we'd get this mission, but we have. Uh, right, I've had a few um, requests. Are you going to change? I think it was your hair colour to uh, black. I think that's black enough. And you wanted your armour as black as well. So, oh wait, no, I've changed your hair now. Um, Armoured. Which one looks most badass? I think that looks badass. We'll go for that. Um, 
Okay, so we've got a sniper. I think everyone's actually... This is pretty much the same team that we had in the last mission, so I'm pretty confident that these guys can get the job done. Um, we've got uh, two heavies, assault rifles there. Um, and we've got this other guy who's a psychic ability dude. Yeah, I think we're going to be okay. I will bring an arc thrower just because if I do have a random chance of being able to bring in that, um, that overseer, then I'm definitely going to give it a go. Let's give this a go then. I was not thinking that this was going to be uh, as soon. Everything seems to be falling into place. Let us begin the assault. So we know we've got ten enemies anyway. That's a good. That's a good thing. And uh, as I said there before, I I do apologise. It's just it's awkward. I tell you what what the issue is, is that I've got about a a, a time of uh, about nine o'clock till nine o'clock in the morning to two in the afternoon. That's when I can record. Um, so. The last week, I literally uh, was having loads of really late nights, just inadvertently, and then waking up really late during the day. So I was never actually having the chance to record. Um, so that was the problem. And obviously, you know, by the time I'd get myself set, ready, ready for the day, done all my stuff, it was already like one o'clock, and I can't really do recording then. So, um, but alas, I'm going to try and get more time to do. Uh, you know, finish off the Let's Play and everything like that, um, and things on the other channels. So that's what's been happening anyway. I haven't gone away or anything along those lines. So, right. So let's have a look at our guys. Plenty of health. That's what I like to see. Where's this ship? It's over here. We can see the outer shell of it here. That Atheral is going to be close to a few mutant elites. So let's um, take things slowly. There isn't going to be many, but what there is going to be is um, a lot of. Um, high class enemies so I want to get my sniper into a good position remember now he's got that ability where he can go into like full cover no matter where he is um, and that armor looks looks pretty badass I'm not gonna lie that's pretty good let's get everyone into cover anyway they may make an opening assault on us I'd like everyone in position to take that off and the, the uh, ship is actually really close to where we are so let's get everyone up and ready um, see where they are first and make a move from there um, as I said there before, if you're a new watcher and you want to get into the series, uh, don't worry, you can actually be a soldier. Just uh, send me a message and you can take over any of the soldiers that you like that aren't already named. You'll find the ones that aren't named have two names, the ones that are named have one. Um, I think that's the easiest one. The only one in this mission that we have who isn't named is Mr. Gordon Ferguson, who's also a psychic dude, so... Yeah. Just for your recollection there. Okie dokie. Right, let's see whereabouts they are going to be. Right, no movement yet. I'm pretty sure the way this is going to go is that there's not going to be any of them until we get inside, and then there's going to be loads of them. And if you remember, we've had a few issues before with um, losing people um, because they've, um, uh, you know, they've, they've not been uh, in, in a good place, you know. So I'm going to move my sniper over here. I know it's very out of... Um, I completely just kind of mumbled that last sentence. I mean, we lost someone, remember, in a in an area where they were all stuck up there before. I think it was Dan who died. So I don't want that particular problem to happen again. Um, but these guys are kitted out with the most advanced weaponry that you can make in this game. Um, there really isn't much more that I can give them in chances of terms of surviving. And a lot of them are, are top rank as well. So really, all things considered, if we're not going to be able to do it with this group... Um, well, we're not going to do it at all. We'll, we'll have to finish it because that would be the end of the Let's Play. So let's um, yeah, let's move all of our guys across. I'm pretty sure that they're not going to come for, come at us from the outside. Um, if they do, um, I'd like them to because then we can slowly pick them off. But the idea that I'm thinking that they're probably going to do is they're probably going to go in and they're all going to be inside. It's not a huge ship, is it, really? Let's have a look. No, it's not massive, but... Uh, we could have quite a few big enemies in here, so I want everyone in a position where they can uh, just take down whatever's around them. So let's... Um, and now I'm going to start finding cover for people now. The cover here isn't that good, but I'll use it regardless. Looks a bit gammy cover, to be fair. Move Morgan up a bit further. He seems to be the survivor of the group, so... Nothing can seem seemingly kill him. I think if if Morgan dies, I think uh, that will be it. I don't think we will um, succeed in our mission. 
Uh, that being said, though, um, I would like... I know we've got five of our characters still alive, the ones that started from the very beginning. Um, but the sixth one, I think, is going to be very important. So we want to get one of our other guys up to a high enough rank as well. And that's, uh, that's where one of the enemies are. As I've got a lot of people here stationed, I might move bed in, open up the door, then come back out. Nothing there. Okay, I'm a little bit worried now because there's ten enemies and they and they they're more than likely going to clump up together because that's the way it seems to be going. Um, that is worrying. Um, I I've got a rough knowledge of where the uh, overseer is. He normally hides in here, but you have to go all the way around to get to him. The problem is being is that you don't really want to fight him unless you've got everyone else in position to be able to help him in that battle. Um, and that being said as well. Um, there is one enemy we haven't faced yet, and I'm a bit sort of bemused why we haven't fought him, faced him yet. Um, and that's the, their big walking mechanical death thing, um, which seems to come during these fights, during these later stages of the campaign. Um, so, with that being said, you need to be very careful. If you haven't also already checked it, just a little bit of filler check while we're trying to find these enemies. Uh, if, we haven't, if you haven't uh, seen it as well, I actually saw a... Um, a video on IGN. They were basically plugging the new XCOM game, but it's a first-person shooter tactical. Oh no, third-person shooter tactical-based uh, shooter game uh, called the Bureau or the XCOM the Bureau or something like that. If you're a big fan of the series, I'll give that I'll give that a look. Um, it, it looks pretty good. Um, no, I'd say it's not a lot like this game though, like you don't ba base build, they made that aware very at the start. There's no base building, there's no um, researching or anything like that, or uh, turn based strategy it is a shooter game, so you have to take it um, as you go there. But uh, if you're a fan, like I am, of of a lot of the majority of games, um, uh, you know, then that that won't be an issue for you if you like the series. And I know they're keeping with some of the series roots, like there will be little barries around and all that stuff. So uh, that will be um, that will be good. At least you, they, 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 that way, you know, it's a little bit of XCOM with barries running around. You know, so right here we go. Here's got some action. Everyone's an overshot. That's good. Okay, hopefully we can take down at least one of these. Nope. I'm very aware that we could end up shooting out one of the walls and really screwing ourselves. Reason being is if we do that we might get ourselves into a fight we our guys aren't ready for. Um, which would be bad. I don't wanna I wanna systematically take them out so our chances are better. Like as as they are at the moment, they're in just such an open area that I can pretty much take them out. Can I stop and get a shot? No we can't, that's fine. Um, let's get Morgan to take a shot off on him, fifty two percent. That's nice. I'm not going to rush taking these guys out. We've got enough people here. Um, I know that uh, maybe you try out with someone else. Uh, kind of there. Maybe you can use Mind Fray on him. 100% yeah, hit. That's good. Alright, and I might just use Mind Fray on the other guys as well and then put everyone to Overwatch when that other one wants to get involved. I know I've got another Psychic one, so yeah, let's do that. That's uh, That way we're guaranteed we're going to kill him there. And a lot of really bad aims. And this guy's becoming a very good psychic soldier of ours. He, he's getting a lot of kills with them, uh, which is good. Uh, we want a lot of uh, good psychic ability soldiers. Uh, I know, like, we haven't got a lot of people who have the gift. These are the only two, I think. There might be one other that I haven't seen. Um, all right, let's hope now one of them can get the shot off. Okay, they both got hit, but it wasn't a kill. But that's okay. I think we've got someone else in Overwatch as well, although he's going to take a shot. No, he isn't. Okay. Um, very odd. Right, let's try to use Morgan again. He's the one who's furthest ahead. Hopefully he can get the kill. Um, no. Okay. I might... His aim is so low that I might um, give him a scope going further. Let's move Tom up anyway. He's got two shots. Well, he's getting, well he gets one um, after this. So let's... Um oh dear. Okay. Not going entirely to plan. Um, let's. I want to move a few of my guys up, so let's move Colin up to. I know he's going to be out of cover, but we're guaranteed we're going to kill him in this round, so. Um, now he's flanked as well. This should be a kill. 93%, and how do you miss? Okay, who, how many do we have left now? This could go bad. We've got three. Um, 
Okay, let's move uh, Gordon. We can use his running gun. And we'll move him up to... Can we capture those? Apparently we can. Let's stick him there anyway. I'm not, I'm not really that bothered about capturing him. Um, okay, this should be a kill. There we go. Two down, eight to go. That's a good start to the mission. Um, I got a few guys out of place though, all kind of stacked up behind that wall, which is a bit odd, but... Alright, the way this is probably ending going to go is that we're going to go around, sweep around, um, see what's there, and then obviously these guys, the, the uh, ethereal is, is over there, so... Um, Alright, as we can see there's no one there, but it's not really good enough for my, good enough uh, cover for my sniper. Um, although that seems pretty good, let's try and put him there. Yeah, that's okay. We'll we'll stick him there. It's very sort of um, intimidating the fact that we know exactly where these guys are. It's just a matter of moving them into the right position. We know where the enemy is, and we just want need to take it nice and slowly. I think which has been my catchphrase of the entire let's play so far. Right, let's move our guys in. Okay, no problem. I'm actually very excited guys, uh, the reason being is because um, this is my first let's play and we're getting close to the end now, um, which is really exciting for me anyway. Let's move our sniper there. Sniper hasn't been able to get into this mission yet, but I'm not too, I'm not, I'm not too worried. I should probably end up reloading a few of my um, guns as well, I might do that. Um, Let's go, yeah, let's put him there, I don't want to move him too far, and reload uh, his gun. I find that the, as well, even though I've got, like, the um, the reload thing that I've got, um, it still tends to, like, they, they run out of ammo very quickly, uh, which, on the plasma plasma weapons, isn't, isn't too good. Okay, that's a little bit awkward, we've got the same as one behind us. Okay. I may move one of my guys over here. Oh no, I've still got a view over here. You know what? After that last mission, if you remember that mission that that, that they they like kept like running around us. Remember, they were like up up above and down down below. Um, I'll let them come to me. I'll keep going on the mission, and uh, we'll go forward from there. So um, I don't want to move them too far. No, it should be okay. Oh, that's fine. I'm a little bit worried now because we've covered like a majority of the ship and we've only found so many enemies. We found two. I and mean, there's eight because that's really helpful, that Nexus is telling you how many is around. Uh, but, you know, as I said, I'm pretty much going to stick my sniper right there and keep him there for the majority of the battle because then he can aim through that door when we eventually decide to open it and take out whoever and whatever's in there. All single file, please. <laughs> okay. Yeah, we'll get him to reload. Um, just waiting now because I think there's going to be one who comes up behind us. I just get that feeling. Wait a minute, is that door open? Okay, this makes things a lot more awkward. That, that door, I thought, was closed. Um, it's not. Oh, it is. Well, that's poxy. <laughs> I was getting all worried. I was like, oh no, we can see inside. There could be a problem. Right, let's um, stick a sniper there. It's a lovely place for him to overlook the area. I may actually... I may try and fight these guys now. Reason being is because I don't think the other ones are going to come up to me until um, they, they're going to come up and attack me until um, I find them. In which case I could get the most awkward part of this mission over and done with now. Um, 
but you know that could could be an issue but well, there could be enemies over here so let's uh yeah this before we start getting ahead of ourselves it's clear the ufo um, and then we can think about all the other all the other crap later on okay um, and we know they're inside there we know that for sure and there apparently is one outside the ship that side Okay, well they've decided not to wait for us. Okay, that kind of that's kind of helpful. At least we could do a bit of damage on them. Oh whoa, okay, they've all decided to go in one one part of the ship, okay. They're all in here, including the like the destroyer thing. Okay, um I don't think the eth uh, the the thing in here is um the ethereal is in here. I don't think it is. No, it isn't. Okay. Um, right. Let's get ready for a fight because this is going to be one hell of a fight. Let's. Um, I'm going to pop smoke. I think that's probably the best on all of our guys. I'm going to try and lure them out. The reason being is because. Um, I don't want to fight them on their terms. Let's. Uh, this is going to be an interesting battle. Um, can I fight the one, attack the one that's already been damaged? Yeah, I can. Let's try and finish him off. Can we? One damage. Oh dear. Okay. Um, I can rapid fire on a few. Of the, I can rapid fire on on him. Over there, big dude. Um, let's try on him. Assume we get, get get some serious damage done on him. Don't want to spread out my damage too much, but okay. Well, we've got two shots here. Let's try and finish off this dude here. Lovely. Okay, that's one down. 18 critical damage. Hopefully you can finish off the job on the other dude. Come on then. Oh, here he goes. Badass. If it bleeds, we can kill it. I like it. Right. Um, let's use Sight Inspiration. Um, so we boost their will. Yeah, I think that's really good. Let's do that. Give them all the boosts we can. If they can't fight, then that's the best way to do it. I might move them back as well. Reason being, I want to use my rockets, um, but we need this thing um, to come back out. So let's. Uh, right, I'm, they can only shoot at two people, I believe. So let's. We'll start moving people back in a sec. Oh dear! Here it comes. Oh ho ho ho! Morgan the Survivor strikes again. Is he getting another attack? Or not? Or is it just mucking up with its game animations? I think it's just mucking up. Right, the scouts need to go down first. Reason being is that we can do all the damage we like on um, on the big dude, but the scouts will just heal it quite, like twice as quick as we can do the damage. So they're going to have to go out. Maybe if I could chuck a grenade in quickly, that might be a good job. Um, and obviously these two Mouton Elites could be the issue. Um, I think we're, I think this is the majority of, of what we're fighting now, so... Oh, okay. Nice, okay. I'm actually thinking now maybe, maybe I will fight them on... fight them where they are. Um, I'm going to use Ben Lars just in case. Um, I'm going to use Tom now. I might use one of my rockets just to take out, or can I not? I don't think I can. Um, right, let's try and use the best. Alright, oh, you can take one of these uh, scouts out now, 100% chance to not take it out. Okay, well, you can finish your job then. Here we go, right. Didn't do as much damage on that as I hoped for, but let's get um, Ferguson into position. Let's fight them on fight them inside there then. It's um we can't fight him. Let's try and get rid of that drone. 
This is getting frustrating now. If we can't take 85% chances, we really aren't helping ourselves. So uh, we can get across here with, with Colin, and hopefully he can do attack. Wait, they can have Overwatch as well? Whoa, that's a lot of damage. Okay. Oh, right. Uh, mine fray. Can we mine fray? That's the only thing we can mine fray. Um, I want that scout down. Let's um, try and get rid of it. Right, now we can start raining hell upon um, upon the uh, the enemy there. Maybe we can use disabling shot with um, with the big dude. No, we can't. Okay, let's try and use headshot. Hopefully it's going to be a clean 100% kill. Lovely. Um, and it didn't harm the orb either. Okay, so we're actually doing quite well. Let's... Um, get two... Oh no, we can't use successive shot. He's only got one. Oh no, we can. Let's try and do successive shot on this guy. Lovely, okay. Um, right, uh, I think Tom is relatively safe. So I'm going to move Ben over here um, so he can heal Colin. I think that's probably the best way. Especially now as he heals 10 HP. That's really useful. Okay, here we go. Moment of reckoning. Oh wait, the Ethereal is there. He's standing there. Okay. I didn't realise he was. Um, I think that's destroyed all of our cover. Um, once this Ethereal starts getting into action, we can, we're going to have to start having problems. Fifteen damage! You have got to be kidding me. That is absolutely insane. Oh, and we've got one of our guys mind controlled now. This is going to be a problem. And it's our healer. He couldn't have picked any worse person. Because we need him to heal our sniper. Alright, uh, right. this is the moment of reckoning, lads. Let's, um... We can use disabling shot though on this dude. Let's do that, and that way we can get rid of its uh, main cannon. Useful. Okay, we've run out of uh, ammo for Morgan, and he's not in really good cover. Let's move him forward to there. That's good cover, and he can reload. Moment of reckoning, lads. Moment of reckoning. Let's. Um I want to make sure we can get that moot on down, but we don't have much space. Maybe if we try a shredder rocket up on this dude over here. Uh, can we... It's awkward now trying to clip him. Because the radius is too big. Um, the orb is in the way. No, it's not going to work. Um... Is it not going to work at all? No. Let's try and get him into a better space then. Um, although, has he taken damage? He has taken a bit of damage. Um, okay. It's not a good cover. It's because the other guy here that's causing us issues. Um, this guy right here, he's pretty much got everyone in problem. Right, I'm going to move Tom to last. I don't know how best to use him, so... Until I do... Um, I don't know how that's good cover there. Um, it's a shame mine only does five bits of damage as well. Uh, Alright. Um, it's not good cover. Okay, right. Let's um, see what we can do. Um, no, we can't attack him there. We're going to have to move Ferguson up to here. I know it's not great cover, but... He's likely going to get himself in trouble, but... We need a chart. It's not going to do enough damage, and I know Mind Frailer does five bits of damage, doesn't it? I'm really sure that it only does five bits of damage. Do we take the 34% chance? I think we might have to. Let's try it. No. Okay. Not a great decision. Let's um, 
We need to move Colin out of the way. Um, see, I should have used Mind Fray knowing that I had the Mind Fray with my other guy. These three enemies here could be the difference between us winning and losing. 13%, 30%. I've got to take the 38% just because the other one is just stupid. Although that per paid off. Okay. Uh, where do we go now? Now is Tom our last guy? He is right. I'm going to move Tom forward just because if he stays there, he's just he's just he's just sitting to die. Nineteen percent to hit. Okay, let's try. All right, one more round, and that uh, that mech is down. But it could it, it might just do the damage before then. You know, I think we might lose someone. Okay. Don't aim at him. Oh, goodness, our sniper is down to one bar of health. Oh, they want him down. Okay. Oh, dear. Critical damage going everywhere. Okay, our turn. Our sniper's got to make this work. He's got one shot. Who does he choose? I think it's going to be the mech. Let's try it. Make it count! The mech is down! <laughs> oh. Okay, we're down to two enemies and one of them's already damaged. Right, let's get around them. I'm going to flank this guy and double attack him. I want this guy down and out of the fight. How can you miss from there? No! Lovely, okay. Just the Ethereal left. We've got four people ready. Oh, look at the damage, okay! How many people have we got left? I know we've got Ferguson with a... We've got Ferguson with a... Um, with a... Uh, capture device. Can we mind fray him? No, not a good chance. Right, let's try and shoot him. Here we go, lads. No, it's a miss. Oh, I, I, the only chance I'm going to have to do now is try and kill him. Oh no, I've got, the only chance there is to reload. Um, let's try and run and gun and get him into this cover here, but still really in, good in a good position. Here we go, come on. We can do up to 8 damage, he's got, what was it, 7 left is that? He does 4, okay, we've got another round left. We could lose someone, I don't want to lose our sniper. That's fine, he could take the damage, I'd much rather he attack someone. He's not going to attack, oh he's going to attack him. Oh my goodness, okay. Time to try and capture him. Let's try and capture him. Come on. Let's do this. Right, we've got Ferguson in position. Capture the son of a bitch. 70% chance. Come on. We got him. Yes. <laughs> Is that it? Victory, lads. We did it. And we brought back the, uh, the Overseer. And with the orb still intact as well. No one lost. Although the sniper. Oh, my goodness. How in the world did you survive? You deserve a promotion from that. Wow. What a, uh, a thrilling end to that mission. I hope you guys enjoyed that. What an end to that mission, huh? And we've got the orb of purple glowingness that's his official term by the way just to let you know <laughs> recovered from a cloaked ship and guarded by the most powerful being we've ever encountered what do you think it is an object of immense power think of all we could do if we unlocked its secrets a 
dangerous sentiment, Doctor. Just let you guys know that's actually what Viagra looks like. Yeah. <laughs> powerful, powerful stuff. Not that I would know, of course. <laughs> sir, I'm picking something up. Another cloaked ship? No, sir. It's big. But here we go. And the mothership has arrived. Tell me that was a coincidence. Wish I could, sir. That seismic event originated directly beneath our new contact. Nothing we have would even make a dent in that thing. If you two have any more bright ideas, now's the time. Indeed. Now is the time, indeed. Because the poop has hit the fan. Okay, guys. So we've um, we've completed that mission. Uh, I don't know how our sniper did get a promotion there. Definitely deserved it, but. Tom has been promoted to Colonel. Uh, he's a bit of a survivor in his own right, so I'm going to give him. Uh, I'm going to give him the Rocketeer, uh, just because towards the last mission, there's a lot of times that you're going to need rockets. So uh, we've got one of our guys has got up the full ability. So I'm going to go. Um, uh, I'm not going to use mind control. Um, an immobile telekinetic field that lasts through an enemy turn. Field distorts and deflects incoming attack. Grant 40% damage to allies and enemies in the field. Full turn cooldown. Um, I guess it could be useful. I know that we get a lot of uh, robotic enemies towards the end. Um, and if they're not very high on their uh, psychic abilities, then it's not really useful. So I'm going to go for the telekinetic field. Um, as he's got s the other one, I'm going to give Psy Panic to, to Colin. Uh, and folks have got an another upgrade as well. So we'll give him Rapid Fire. I do like Rapid Fire. Okay, so that's that mission done. We now have a lot of new research available. We've got the sector pod autopsy, the ethereal device, and the uh, interrogate the overseer. Uh, but that will all be for the next episode. If you do enjoy this episode, uh, please leave a like. Subscribe to the channel, although we're coming right to the end of our um, Let's Play. I will probably be putting more... Um, Let's plays up in the future. Um, but thanks a lot for spending this time with me there today. We're nearing the end of the Let's Play people. It's been a very long journey. And I thank you all for waiting for this episode. Uh, thanks a lot. And I shall see you all soon. Bye-bye.